The Chosen is getting ready to be the first and perhaps the best show of 2024. I know that there are still four months until the new year, but let's be honest, these months will pass by in the blink of an eye. Thus, I feel like it's time to get ourselves ready for the new season of the show, especially with the news that the show is one of the few series with a new season on the corner. So if you are planning to start on the series or you are already watching the series but need a little bit of a reminder of what's been going on, this video is perfect for you. Why? Well, because we are about to debunk all the Twelve Apostles of Jesus, what other characters like, and which actors portray them on The Chosen. So without further ado, let's dive into the video and meet with Twelve Apostles. I don't think the notion of Twelve Apostles needs an introduction, but still, here is what we are referring to by saying Twelve Apostles. Also known as the Twelve Disciples, Twelve Apostles were a group of individuals chosen by Jesus Christ to be His closest followers and to spread His teachings. And as you can expect, all of our knowledge about these characters comes from the Holy Bible. Now that we know who these people are, let's get to know them on an individual basis. First, there's Simon Peter. Simon was a fisherman and often considered the leader of the apostles. On the one hand, he is known to have moments of strong faith and dedication. But on the other hand, he is also famous for denying knowing Jesus three times before Jesus' crucifixion. Jesus referred to him as the rock upon which he would build his church, showing how important he is to Christianity as a faith. Who plays this crucial character on The Chosen, though? Simon is played by Israeli-born actor Shaha Isaac, whose portrayal of Simon highlights the character's transformation from a fisherman to one of Jesus' closest disciples. Then there is Andrew, who is Simon Peter's brother and also a fisherman. He was one of the first to follow Jesus and brought Simon Peter to him. He is especially important for the evangelism and bringing others to Jesus. So he was crucial in missionary activities back in the first days. He is portrayed by the American actor Noah James, who makes wonders in exploring the complex relationship between the disciple and Jesus. James, the son of Zebedee, on the other hand, is known for being present at significant events in Jesus' life such as the Transfiguration and the Garden of Gethsemane. He is played by three different actors on the show so far. Back in season one in the first four episodes, Cheyenne Sobian portrayed the character. Then Cheyenne Cavusi took the part until the end of season one. Starting from season two, the character is portrayed by Abe Martel. James' brother John is known for how much he was loved by Jesus. In fact, he is often referred to as the beloved disciple. Naturally, he had a really close relationship with Jesus and had deep spirituality. He also wrote the Gospel of John, which is one of the most stable religious documents to this day. The character is played by the actor George H. Xanthus. Then there is Philip, who is known for his practical and logical approach to religion. He is also known for bringing Nathanael to Jesus as he famously said, Come and see, in response to Nathanael's doubts. The character is played by Yoshi Baragas. Who is Nathanael then? Well, as I just mentioned, he is known for his skepticism towards Jesus. And yet, all of his doubts dust away once he meets Jesus personally. He is portrayed by the actor Austin Reed Alleman. Another skeptic apostle is Thomas. In fact, he is famously known as Doubting Thomas because he'd initially doubted Jesus' resurrection. But, he eventually declares his faith when he sees Jesus' wounds and proclaims, My Lord and my God. He is portrayed by Joey Vahidi. Then there is Matthew, who is my personal favorite on the show. Matthew was a tax collector before becoming an apostle. Similar to John, he is also known for his gospel, which emphasizes Jesus' teachings and his fulfillment of Old Testament prophecies. He is played by Paris Patel, an actor of Indian descent. As far as James the son of Alphaeus is concerned, we have very limited knowledge. He is sometimes referred to as James the Less or Little James to distinguish him from James the son of Zebedee. He is played by Jordan Walker Ross on the show. Another apostle that we have limited knowledge about is Thaddeus, who is mentioned in the Gospel accounts. We hope to see more of him on the show, so that we can at least get an idea of what he might have been like. In the series, he is played by Giovanni Caro. Then we have our rebellious apostle Simon the Zealot. It is believed that he was a member of the Zealot movement, which opposed Roman rule at the time. He and Judas Iscariot are the least documented apostles in the Gospel accounts. On the show, he is portrayed by Allah Safi. And finally, we have perhaps the most infamous apostle, Judas Iscariot. Judas is famously known for betraying Jesus to the religious authorities for 30 pieces of silver. His actions led to Jesus' arrest and crucifixion, so he is often regarded as the ultimate betrayer in the history of the world. It is believed that after betraying Jesus, Judas has taken his own life. On The Chosen, he is played by Luke Dimion. Do you think The Chosen is good at portraying all the apostles? Which apostles' portrayal is your favorite? Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.